Good evening. My name is Ola Rosen Debisi. I'm 17 years old. I'm so grateful to be here tonight with so many passionate and creative people. I would like to thank Urban Word and Teachers and Writers Collaborative for this honor of being the 2024 to 2025 New York State Youth Poet Laureate. Thank you to my mom and my family for their love and support. As the New York State Youth Poet Laureate, I hope to raise awareness for scoliosis and the invisible struggles that the youth face. I also hope to encourage the use of creative outlets like writing, art, and music to cope with pain and emotions. I'm so grateful that I've been able to use poetry to turn my pain into something beautiful and relatable. Poetry is a road that connects us. I'm glad that this road has led me here. Now, I would like to share my poem called, Scoliosis is a Curved Path to Heaven. When I was 14, God covered my eyes and told me to walk straight. I walked forward. I couldn't wait to open my eyes. Two years ago, I was faced with a life-changing diagnosis. Two years ago, I was told that I had scoliosis. For the back pain, my doctors gave me pills, too big for a wave to swallow and I washed it down with silence, a feeling that no one should follow. I buried my head in poetry, hoping that if I wrote enough similes, the strain in my neck would be relieved and suffering would be like a nursery rhyme. My pain from my neck to my back was constant. It rains from the pricking of thorns to the stabbing of a sword. My tolerance was low, but I remained silent, afraid to let my feelings overflow. I didn't show that I was hurting. I didn't want to be a burden. I would say, I'm fine, when my body felt twisted and torn. I would say, leave me behind, when I felt different and forlorn. I would say, that I'm living in the present when I'd rather return to my life before. I would recall the past and mourn. I didn't realize that this was my chance to be reborn. Scoliosis taught me to be more perceptive. Not all trees were perfect and straight. Some were slanted, short, and had winding branches. Some were curved like my spine. When I tilted my head to see from their point of view, I learned that suffering had the power to either ruin or renew. I gained a new perspective that I would have never known if I had continued to hide in my head where weeds and worries were overgrown. I studied the earth that I walked across and found footprints about the size of my hand I could finally understand the courage required to unravel your pride and weave your pain into the ground so a lost soul could be intertwined and led to the place where tangled worries were unwound, the place where love had no bounds. My love for trees stretched beyond to the birds that perched on branches and the dainty flowers that sprouted around a tree's roots. I attended physical therapy and yoga every week, seeking my stolen strength and stability. Physical therapy introduced me to other girls with curved spines. I no longer spoke in rhymes. My pain didn't cower or find a metaphor to hide behind. We might have begun our journeys at different times, but I thank God that a wrong turn or a misstep allowed our curved paths to cross. Whether in the storm together, we painted streaks of blue across a blank canvas, 
splattered darts of white, and our laughter was the sunlight that peeked through the clouds. Creativity repurposed our pain instead of retaining it. When I was 15, before my scoliosis surgery, I blindly signed a severing contract, carving my name into the side of a tree. The tethers bound me to the light, and the branches lifted me to my destiny. I never want to open my eyes again. Thank you. Thank you.